how does the shift towards a larger population of non-employee workers align with the focus on understanding the skills of your workforce? Uh, it would seem that this makes the criticality of understanding workforce and workforce needs through the lens of skills rather than uh, through people. And I, I might say, rather than the lens of, of job description. So what I understand about this notion of skills-based uh, workforce is we're moving from jobs to skills as kind of the currency and the language uh, that we use. And so um, anyone want to tackle that question? What, you know, briefly, what's the, what's the, what's the role of skills as we start looking at the extended workforce? Yeah, I want to jump on that because I think this is a great question. It, but Mike, it reflects that you really understand how this, this talent sourcing is changing. We, we often refer to this as skill sourcing and, and Jeff already touched on it. Um, the idea that you're, you're, you're getting away from organizing work around just around jobs, you know, job descriptions with uh, a list of, you know, arbitrary responsibilities that, and then also other duties as required, like instead of building your work around jobs and roles in that higher hierarchical structure, instead you're starting with the outcomes that you want to deliver, the skills required to deliver those outcomes, and then identifying the talent that has those skills, however that talent uh, exists within your workforce ecosystem. And so it, it absolutely shifts the way that you, I, I think, if you're, especially if you're doing it strategically, proactively, it shifts the way that you do your workforce planning. 